What is going on everyone? My name is Shaq Mac and today I have a video discussing how to win triple threat while getting the most MT possible. I figured out this little method by myself. I don't know if anyone else has also figured it out, but I've also done this with single player and multiplayer triple threat mode. The gameplay in this video is going to be purely from single player, but I'm almost more than certain that it should work on multiplayer. So basically, it's like running a play with your players. It's very, very, very simple. There's gonna be a small walkthrough of the play real quick, and then we'll go into the certain ways in which it helps on offense, getting points the easiest, and then I'll even tell you what to do on defense for both single player and multiplayer. So basically what the offense consists of is your point guard, whoever it may be, for this gameplay I have my created player, and a big body who can shoot. In this case I've got James Posey, he's really easy, a pickup for three tokens, who can get rebounds and can shoot consistently from three. And then we've also got CJ Miles in the corner, ready for that catch and shoot. It's really, really important that that catch and shoot player is right there and you understand his jump shot. The reason I have CJ Miles and not maybe a more consistent shooter like Clay Thompson is one, I got him in my starter pack so I didn't have to spend anything. And two, I've slowly gotten used to his jump shot, which has made the entire process a lot easier. So as you can tell, we've got my created player up the top. James Posey will then set a screen, a high ball screen. 10 times out of 10, you should be using that ball screen and heading straight to the hoop. If you are met by the player that is guarding James Posey, then you will kick it out to him who is cutting towards the basket for that pick and roll. If no one steps up to the player with the ball, then you go straight to the basket with that player. If the person guarding CJ Miles, or that three-point shooter in your case, he will then come towards you. If he does that, then you will kick it out to CJ Miles for a wide catch-and-shoot three-pointer. Now, I'm telling you, this works for anything. If the player is coming off the screen and trying to cheat the screen, then you'll stop with the ball handler, put up a three-pointer. If they decide to switch, and the person who was guarding you in the first place decides to double-team, then you'll kick it out to James Posey for a three-point shot. Same can be the case if he decided to roll instead of fade. You can then hit James Posey on the roll and an easy attack to the rim. This method highly depends on the fact that you need to be able to read the opponent. If you're running this play and you're just a expecting for that catch and shoot in the corner to consistently be wide open and you consistently pass, it's not gonna work. So it's very important that you switch it up. Sometimes don't take the screen. I said 10 times out of 10 you should be using it, but if your opponent starts to read it and you start taking shots that you don't necessarily think you're most comfortable with, then what you could do is you set the screen on the left hand side, then you cut towards the right completely ditch the screen altogether. Just head straight to the basket. This is pretty much the exact same thing even if you're doing it on the left side of the court. Right hand side, I've just gone through. Left hand side is pretty much everything except vice versa. The screen will be on the right of the player. You'll head towards the middle, kick it out on the right side. Those are just a few of the options on offense that helps make this method really work. Not only that, but you'll be gaining a lot of MT from it as well, because most of the time, that three-point shot should be wide open. So not only are you going to reach that minimum five shots taken in order to get that MT, but they're high percentage as well. So you'll be getting the most amount of, of MT possible. On defense, what I usually do is play off ball. This is for single player, however, in multiplayer, play on ball. And the reason I say play on ball is because no one likes a motherfucker who decides to play off ball defense online. Save that for single player. Although it does help most of the time on on ball because on ball rewards you with more MT if you play good defense. If you notice on the top right, I, uh, I play good defense against this player. And what ends up happening is that once I contest the shot and they miss it or hit it, I get MT for good shot defense. Again, on online, if you catch someone running this type of offense, you have to be able to read. You have to make them take shots that they're not comfortable with. Because on defense, that's their aim. This is almost an unbeatable offense from what I've learned. Because any way they decide to change it up, 
there's usually a way you can beat it. That's why 3-on-3 three three basketball is so much better than the 5-on-5 five five in terms of getting those open shots and plays consistently working. Anyways, guys, that's kind of just the small recap as to how triple threat should be played and how to get the most MT as well as win your games. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Every like is appreciated. I want to start doing this thing where if you tweet at me at GRIS3 or if you just type in the comments first, whoever gets first like will get a shout out in my next video. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try and upload as much as I can. I'm probably not NBA 2K as my PlayStation has completely bricked itself. There'll be a video on that soon. Every little bit of support is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.